In this video, I'm gonna explain how you can set up a shortcut on your phone to automatically transcribe your data from the Metric VBT app directly into your copy of the Velocity Logbook. All you have to do is go, hey Siri, how did I go? And it will automatically. Sorry, I'm still not sure about that. Sometimes it automatically does. Hey Siri, how did I go? Sometimes when you get Siri to work, it will automatically trigger the shortcut and transcribe your data once you've entered your RPE across to your Velocity Logbook by taking a screenshot, reading the screenshot, and then punching that data into your Velocity Logbook. Once it's run that shortcut, it will then send you back some contextual information about how your training session went so that without even leaving the metric app, you can look at your Velocity data, see how things are tracking, and get great results. Let's look at how to do it. So the first thing we need to do to get this to work is in your Velocity Logbook, I'm in my copy from the previous video, we need to go into Extensions and then App Scripts. There's a little bit of code connected to this Google Sheet that we need to activate to enable so that we'll run uh, and allow us access to then push data back and forth from the Metric app on your phone. So once you're in here, go to App Scripts. You'll see there's two. Just worry about the top one, the Metric VBT integration, and hit Deploy, New Deployment. From there... Hit the little settings tab and select web app. Settings, web app. And from here, you can write a new description. So I'm gonna write a logbook shortcut. Don't think this really matters. Web app is ex executed by me and who has access, make sure that's selected to anyone. And then we're gonna hit deploy. Now to deploy this, you'll need to authorize and give it trust so that it can access the details from your shortcuts app on the phone. So authorize. You'll then have to select your Gmail account, allow, and then you want to copy the web app URL. Now, sometimes it'll ask you to trust it. You need to go through that. So go advanced and then trust as well. But then once you're there, this web app URL, this one here is what's really important. We need that number, that, that URL code on our phone, so copy it, send it across to your phone via notes app or whatever, so that we can use that in the next step. Then from there, press done, and we can go back to our logbook. You can close that down. So now that we've got that URL, the second step happens on our phone. So from here, we need to open up the Apple Shortcuts app. The shortcut we're gonna to use today is found in a link that you'll get when you join the VBT Coach newsletter. So if you sign up on my website, you'll get the shortcut link that's got the build you need for this, and that comes with the Velocity Logbook. So you get a Velocity Logbook, you get this link so you can set it all up. Click on that link in your phone, and that will take you to the Shortcuts app and give you the option to set up a, a shortcut called Send to Velocity Logbook. So we're gonna set up that shortcut now. You'll see there's a few options. First, we need to tape, paste in that web app URL that we got from step one on our computer. So find that code, that URL code, copy it, and come across and paste that in step one, then go next. Then you need to configure to make sure you've got the name of your tab correct. So on your computer, it's default called individual logbook. If you don't change that name, we're good to go. And that's already default in there, click next. Then we need to configure further by customizing what notification comes back from the shortcut when we run it. So for me, I like to turn the seven day off, the 90 day off, and I also really like the curve score. So I tend to turn off the E1RM once you've got that. So for me, 30 day is true, the curve score is true, and the personal record or personal best notification, they're all set to true. The other three are false. So I add that shortcut and that is now on my phone. So it's called send to velocity logbook. Now that I've got that installed and it's all working, what I do is I go to metric, we've got a set starter here, and I go, hey Siri, send to Velocity Logbook. Oh, not quite. Hey Siri, send to Velocity Logbook. And then Siri will automatically run this on the phone. So first it asks for an RPE, you can enter a number. If you don't, just call them all zero. Hit the done button. It takes a screenshot inside the metric app and then it reads that. Now you'll need to allow permission, so always allow. It then reads that screenshot and finds the data, sending it directly to your Velocity logbook, including the date, the name of the exercise and everything else. 
So from there, it will then give you a little notification up the top of the screen that shows you what your scores are. So for me, I get a 30-day average, I get a curve score, and if I've get, got any new personal records or personal bests, it will also highlight those for me as well. So without even leaving the metric app, that data is now saved into my Velocity logbook, and I've now got the context back on my screen. I can check that out. Cool. It's a good day. Numbers are tracking well. Hit OK. Delete the screenshot. Well, you don't delete. You can save it if you like. And then we're good to go. That's now in my logbook. I haven't left the metric app and I'm now continuing on with my training. Easy peasy. So that's it. That's how we use it. That's all there is to it. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Uh, I'm here to help. I'm happy to help you get this set up on your phone. There's also a blog link below if you prefer to read the instructions as you're going through the setup instead of watching this video and trying to listen and do it at the same time. That might be quicker and easier. And if you want these this stuff, you so if you want the Velocity Logbook and you want a link to the shortcut, you'll need to sign up to the VBT Coach newsletter. VBTCoach.com, it's linked below. Join the newsletter. I'll send you all the instructions via email and you can get started with this. Happy lifting. Happy lifting.